on the last video. Nope, Ribbon Girl. You're kinda dead. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so it continues. Tup, 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 tup. Hi, hi, hi. What are you blind? No, I'm what, not. You blind. don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work I here. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Thank you for your patronizing words and comments. Fucker. Asshole. Remember that was just cursed again. Yes, I see. I, I... Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around No one's to blame. Here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to well, catch the fucker someone who is, did this. But no one here. Oh, is that yeah. how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Her because pimp. right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... Was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. <sighs> yes, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... <laughs> Never mind. Yes. Smoke away. Ah. Uh, what's the wine about? Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... Is he gone? Oh, yes, hello. thankfully. What the fuck? It's a flying monkey! Flying monkey! Flying monkey! A drunk flying monkey. Buffkin! That's the kind. Hello, Miss Snow. Uh, Drinking? This early? Trying Where did drunk. you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> he has solar size. I don't trust him. Uh, How are uh, you today, Mr. Bigby? Um, uh, not great. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, yeah, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back <laughs> in a few minutes. That's not really any more specific. <laughs> he knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Wait, the I really magic have to mirror? get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. The magic mirror? Hello, Vivian. Okay. Well, it. Snow White, Mr. Green. I want to look at stuff. It's a lamp. It's pretty much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. Okay. Rub it. 
Yeah, okay. Yes, that's right. Touch a straw lot. Worth a try. <laughs> it was like, ah, oh, well. I questioned it only due to the amount. It seemed a bit excessive. Mm hmm. I have the record right here. Give me one moment. Well, that's not what I have here. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. I'll be sure to let him know. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. <laughs> Okay, let's go check out this magic mirror thing now. <laughs> I could use a shave, maybe, but, you know, hey, I'm a magic wolf. magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history of rules. God damn it, Magic Mirror. Mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, yes. About two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. I agree. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Hmm. Woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No oh shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey, God damn it, put Buffkin. down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking! <laughs> Show me Buffkin. God damn hey, it! <laughs> put down the bottle and get to work. Still looking! He gets drunk all over again. Snow. Show me Snow White. Duh. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. I don't know, I don't her, know name. her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Gosh darn it. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Frickin' buffkin. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Who was she talking to? Magic? Hmm. Maybe. By the way. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Previsions muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Fine, sheesh. Let's check at the tarot's again. Is it? Hmm. Okay. So I already flipped over and all that. So I guess that's all I can do with that. So yeah. 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 What's up, Snea? Buffkin. I feel the mail person came. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. 
Any information on fables are in these books. Okay, let's see. Huh. There's the dwarves and Snow White. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. <laughs> There's the dwarves. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Me. That is indeed you. What's this? And him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Fun stuff. And the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Little Red Riding Hood. Beauty in happier days. Hello, beauty. And her man, Beast. Hello, Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. Got three little pigs. What the hell? Oh, hello, Ichabod Crane. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. <laughs> Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Ooh, are you speaking of rebellion? Hello, Mr. Toad. Nice hat. Hello, Mr. Badger. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> I do wish Toad would like his privacy more. Huh. I don't know what this fable is. There's a... A person in a buffalo hood wearing a ring. I can't really tell if that's a guy or a girl because of the blushing cheeks. And that's an old king. Hmm. I've seen this before. You have? This symbol on the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Oh! Could be her father or How husband. How the fuck was I supposed to tell this that? This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Okay, let's take a look at the book of symbols then. Shall we, Cassie? No. Gosh darn it, Cassie. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, well here's the first page. Okay. There's a symbol here. Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Please do, Buffkin. Yeah, thanks. I uh, know you're we a little drunk. Each other. Don't overdo it. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Hmm. Not quite who I'm looking for. Well, yeah, but still, that's the Frog Prince symbol. What about this one? This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone that's a Celtic that thing. thing. I only translate. Someone blessed that thing. What is this? What's it say about that? It says... Brickle bit in an older elvish hand. What's brickle bit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit gold. <laughs> it's just like makes animal shit gold, and Bigsby looks at him. Pumpkin <laughs> just looks back, and he's just like, "Okay then." Okay. Pumpkin, <laughs> translate. Hmm. An exquisite design from the Good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Yeah. That's the symbol we're looking for. Let's look at everything else first. Yeah, but I can't go any further, so this is the last Darn. symbol. This is the one. This one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's Which an odd one. Family name? Alelairau? Alelairau. 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 Every kind of fur. Hmm. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin. <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. Okay. The story of donkey skin. 
There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter. Oh. Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Oh. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Whoa. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? <sighs> we have to notify no, him. I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. It's actually probably not her. Probably not. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I don't know. It might not be. Uh, I guess we should go see if, like, the magic mirror can tell us where these get people are or something. Yeah? Nah. Yes. Nah. Yes. Nah. Yes. God damn it, Will. Yes. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. This fable. Blah, 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 of blah, blah, blah. Of which fable do you wish to know? Okay. Um... What about faith? Show me, show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Oh, what? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. His lips are sealed. That's actually the same thing that the the ribbon girl said, didn't she? Yeah. Uh, these lips yeah. are sealed. Huh. What about Faith's father? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh. I I don't think I guess he's that alive. Crosses him off the suspect list. <laughs> that that looked pretty skeletal. Um. What about Prince? I don't know. These are fairy Prince. tales, man. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh shit! Did he get stabbed? What's he been doing? Dude, there's a fucking knife there in a pool of blood! Where's oh my what? god. Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. <laughs> Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frame. Oh yeah, the Bronx. Yep, that's the one. Lovely place for there. a prince. Okay, let's go. Um, let's do it. Nobody right now. Anything we, we can use? We gotta yeah. go check out that. I'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Yeah, let's do it. Sorry, I have to get that. A phone call? Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Okay. Bigby, it's me, Toad. Toad? You there? Uh, what's up? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. What? Get over here, Big Big, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. What? Boy, shit. Hey! Oh, shit. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Oh, shit. Toad might have to wait. Oh shit, we're gonna have to make a choice. Aren't Whenever we? you're ready. Shit. What what should we do, Cassie? Uh, to flirt with Snow White. I can't. Darn! I can move my cursor up and down on her body, but I cannot talk to her. 